Hi, my name is Brett, and I've seen a few videos that talk about and analyze Nier Automata's final ending E, and while I think the videos I've seen are wonderful articulations of what makes this part of the game important, I want to talk about the impact it made on me in particular. Like most other people, I've dealt with many different emotions and feelings throughout my life, and I often deal with feelings of loneliness that tend to cloud my judgment. I think that it's best to find positive outlets to deal with an influx of negative emotions, and time and time again, I've found myself playing Automata as my go-to game when I've felt down, and I think that initially, this on its own gave me a somewhat special bond with this game. I'm the type of player that worries that they'll make some type of game-changing mistake while playing, so I tend to frequent wiki pages and guides when playing games that offer important text decisions. Because of this, I had a clue what ending E was going to be like by the time I got to it. On the day that I was playing, I'd been feeling particularly lonely. There are some days where despite what you know, you just feel like the people you know don't really care about you, and that you don't matter that much in general. Playing through, I got through endings C and D and felt empty and confused. There had to be more. I didn't know whether or not I wanted more story or just more game in general, but I wasn't satisfied. Upon checking the wiki guide, I learned that ending E was just up ahead, and with the help of chapter select, much easier to reach. Going through the credits sequence, I felt bewildered when asked if I wanted the androids to survive. When making decisions like choose 9S or A2, there had been online forums and parts of the wiki that discussed the outcome. But the web pages I found discussing ending E didn't immediately give information pertaining to the new text decisions with nearly as much context. I found pages that told me how I would likely give up my save data, referencing the extra ships in the minigame. But I didn't really understand what they were talking about and figured I should play the game and figure out things happened from there. It was at this point that I decided if I got this far in the game, I was going to play how I wanted to. Even if I wasn't going off a guide at this point, it was up to the rest of the game to make an impact on me. I wanted to be surprised. I assume that anyone listening this far in has played to and got through this part of the game. I kept playing, dying, getting more frustrated with the credits minigame. I noticed the first message of support, and despite being confused, wondering what it was relevant to in terms of the story, I felt encouraged to keep going. The encouragement started to increase, and eventually the game hit me with prompts asking me whether I found meaning in games, life, and the world. Then I got the rescue message. If all the words of encouragement on screen that I now realize were all from real people weren't enough to do it to me, the ships surrounding me as literal proof that I was no longer alone were. Tears streaming down my face, I was finally given the full determination to get through this. Losing ships, I realized that other people, knowing that their data would vanish in the form of these ships, protecting mine and others like it, really sacrificed it just to let others have this experience. To get them through this. To show each other that they really cared. That this experience was something other people deserved to have shared with them. That they had been through it all too. The hardship. Not just within the game, but the real feelings of loneliness that many like me might deal with. Whether or not it was the intention, this is what I choose to take away from that experience, as this game has also reminded me that it is up to myself to find meaning in what I want to. This sense of togetherness being expressed along with the simple but important belief that we should define our own fates is what made Nier Automata special to me, and what made my first time getting to ending E unlike any other experience in gaming I've ever had. To Yoko Taro and everyone who made this game possible, as well as anyone watching this video or not, who was strong enough to give up their data and send out words of encouragement, thank you. It means something to me. And I feel that it's important for me to recognize that before allowing myself to pick the game back up for a replay.